Welcome friends to another episode where I review vintage fountain pens. Today I have for you an uh, interesting Pelican example from the 1970s. It uh, came to me in a package with a ballpoint pen from um, Mont Blanc and it came to me in this condition. It was a gift because the seller told me it isn't functional and it has some problems with a cracked cap. Guys, although this comes with a sticker, I'm having trouble determining the model. So, bear with me. Let us take a closer look to the sticker. So, we definitely can uh, see we have Pelican, but this is the interesting part. I think it's an M481 EF, the size of the nib. And here the mystery begins. Because I tend to agree that this is an M481. But according to uh, different sites, on the internet the m481 should be equipped with a 14 carat gold nib but in this case we have 18 carat 750 gold nib and if we do the research we can see that there was a model especially for the export market fitted with an 18 karat gold nib, but that model is M491. I will leave some picture of the M491 and you can see that we have a different clip and you can see that the 491 ends in a gold, uh, the barrel ends in a gold uh, ring. So I think that we have here uh, quite rare 481 special made for the export market you can see on the clip we have the logo of the pelican and not on the top of the cap and i was quite surprised because in my collection there was another pen that i bought for parts this was unfortunately cannibalized by some people that consider that the gold value is much more higher than the pen value. Um, but this has also problems with the piston filler. And this model has also problems with the piston filler because I thought that I could use this um, model to repair or to replace the body of this fountain pen. As you can see, a nice model from the 1970s. I like this open nib. It's a quite an interesting nib. And in a way, it reminds me of the Parker 65 from the 1960s. Maybe the designers of the Pelican inspired this uh, nib from that model. I surely know that this was a uh, model intended for export and the 18 carat 750 nib is a good um, indication that this is a model intended for export. Let me try to see if the piston works, but no, it doesn't work and I think, yes, I can pull it off. So it definitely needs some uh, work to it. It's quite a uh, slim and elegant fountain pen. It uh, resembles the Mont Blanc 22 and 24 series from the 1960s. But this is a product of the Pelican from the 1970s. I will uh, leave its dimensions on the screen. And after that, I will try to dip this um, ink, uh, this nib into ink to do a writing sample. So bear with me, guys. I think I uh, will use this ink 
a Faber Castle ink, but uh, it is the dark ink. Initially, the turquoise is quite light, and I combined it with uh, a Parker Quick ink, I believe. Okay, so for the writing sample, I will just uh, dip this fountain pen and I hope it will write. So just dip. Okay. So guys, let me give you a little zoom. I have a pelican. Pelican. M. Four. Eight. One. So the M. Is a designation. It comes from mechanisch in German. And it means we have a piston filler. Because we have this cap. That is a plastic cap. We should have the designation MK and K stands for um, Kung's stuff. So, which means a plastic, plastic cap. But uh, no, we have uh, just this uh, model name. It is in on this sticker, so um, it's definitely not a four. Uh, M491, which we knew for certain that it had an 18 karat gold nib. So we have an M481 fitted with an 18 karat 750 gold nib. So guys, so the mystery continues. Maybe there were some variants of the M481 uh, fitted also with an 18 karat 750 gold nib. This is a product made in uh, Germany, made in Germany in uh, the 1970s. We have uh, this interesting uh, nib and it reminds me of the Parker 65 nib. It is an open nib, quite, quite an interesting nib. Because it has this uh, design, I don't think that we'll have a uh, line variation, so no flex. I will do also the pressure test. So here, no pressure, and here we have a little bit of pressure. So we definitely see a line variation, but uh, not a big line variation. It is uh, not uh, such a juicy nib, but I like the fact that uh, it glides on the paper and it uh, doesn't have an annoying feedback. Let me see if we can reverse write it with it. I don't think so. It scratches a lot, but uh, here's a difference between... Um, they say we have an EF nib, so... If uh, <laughs> I think this is an EF and it writes like a fine nib, but um, this is my opinion. Of course, the German manufacturers, the Pelican in especially, it is known for the fact that uh, it uh, writes quite, quite um, like abroad. So um, if the Japanese consider this extra fine nib, uh, this is the extra fine nib for the Germans from Pelican. Okay, guys, let me see how we can uh, do a signature with it. Quite, quite nice. Review. And now I am ready for the quick brown fox. So, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so quite quite a nice writer i like uh, this ink window i like the color of it because it's quite a dark ink window and um, 
mm, not so functional in my opinion but um, i don't like the piston filling mechanism that it's made out of uh, cheap plastic and when i say cheap plastic i have two models that have the same problems with the piston filling mechanism and the same problems with the cracking of the caps this was um, rudimentary let's say repaired but this isn't a professional job and this has uh some crackings to it and i don't know if you can notice yes it's a big crack starting from here and ending on the uh ring so on the ring we have germany and pelican so no west germany uh, but uh, it is normal for a pen from the 1970s. And in this model you can see that the gold plating wasn't done such... Uh, they didn't do such a well uh, job gold plating it because it lost its gold plating. It's not a bad model, don't get me wrong, but um, I have two examples that have the same problem. And it certainly shows that this wasn't a perfect model from uh, Pelican. But the 1970s were years when different manufacturers tried to launch different models. Indeed, they are quite narrow and elegant fountain pens, but uh, I don't think they are quite qualitative product, although fitted with uh, 18 uh, carat gold nibs. Guys, this was my review. And uh, I don't know for sure, because of the sticker, and I believe it's an original sticker, this is an M481 fitted with an 18 karat gold nib. So note that M491, but an M481. Let me know your opinions in the comments. I certainly did my research and I found out that M481 was available only with a 14 karat gold nib. So this is the big mystery. I don't think that uh, this nib was replaced in time. And who would replace a 14 karat nib with an 18 karat nib? Let me know what you think. This was my review of a quite mysterious fountain pen. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. Thank you for your time. If you've enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye bye.